G'day guys and welcome to my first Supercoach video of the year um, and this is actually my first season of doing Supercoach so I'm really enjoying it so far and um, I thought I'd make a video for you guys um, this could become a, a weekly thing if you enjoy it um, where I talk about um, my week that I had and then also preview the next round or I could split it in two videos um, but yeah we'll just have to see how it goes I thought I'd start off by showing you my stats I'm currently ranked 17,745th, um, which I'm pretty happy with. Um, considering it's my first year as survey coach, I'm pretty happy to be that high at the moment. Um, and a few weeks ago, I was as high as, I think I was close to 6K um, or 6,000. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I did have a bad week when par was like, I think at that week, par was like 2,200 and I was under 2,000. So... I dropped a bit, dropped all about 20k, and now I'm down to 17,000. So yeah, um, last round I did score 2,126, which was um, I think it was sort of around par, maybe a tiny bit under, but I did I did go up in the rankings, so um, that's always nice. Um, we'll jump straight into the team. So let's have a look here. Um, I probably should split up in two videos, but anyway, we'll just do this now. As we load in, there we go. So uh, we'll start off with the defence. I'll just quickly go through it and then talk about my trades for the week. Um, so Whitfield Lloyd, two, probably the top two defenders. Um, they're projected to, be, to go top two. Um, Whitfield, I, I did bring him in. Same with Lloyd, I brought him in pretty early. Um, they're both pretty high in price, but I just wanted to get him in. I had the opportunity, and I, and I just thought I'd bring them both in. Um, Whitfield, I brought him in, and I think he went something like... Um, 80, 80, and then that's when he had his injury. So I'm praying this week that he'll be straight back into the side. Um, he's been off for almost probably two or three weeks now. So um, if we had known it was going to be that long, I'd probably almost trade him out. But uh, held on to him. Um, and yeah, if he's, I'm hoping he's known. But I really should be making this video after the teams are announced because it makes more sense and I can actually talk about um, like who's in. But anyway, um, Lloyd... Another one I brought in fairly early. Um, I think I brought him in last week, actually, and he scored me an 83, so a bit low for him, but hopefully he'll be back this week. Uh, Brody Smith, uh, apart from that 71, I think he had about three tons before that, so he's travelling pretty nicely. Um, Darcy Moore, another one also scoring pretty well, um, around that probably 60 to 90 mark, and uh, yeah, I'm not for his price, I'm not too... Um, mad about that, it's pretty good. And then the two Melbourne boys, Hoare and Lockhart, both doing very well. Especially Marty Hoare, who's at 350k now, and I think he's got a break even on around 30. Uh, yeah, 31 there, so um, he's just going to keep rising in price, which is great. Also, Lockhart, he's at 221 with a break even of negative 29, so he's only going to go up as well. Um, so those two boys are doing well. Um, also, traded in Ainsworth last week. Um, I think, gee, it was at four. Might have been for Dersma, I think. So um, hopefully Answorth can make me a bit of cash. Joyce, he's played a couple of games and uh, he's scored in the 60s. So he's looking pretty good, but he's just got to find a spot in the team. Um, so hopefully he'll be back soon, make me a bit of cash. The midfield, um, I'm actually making, I'm, I'll talk about it in a sec, but I'm looking to make an upgrade in the midfield. Um, but Paddy Cripps and that Fife, or well, speaking of Paddy Cripps, he's just insane. Um, well, I mean, I'm a Collingwood supporter, and uh, just watching him last week, he's just a gun. And he almost got the Blues over the line last week. So, um, yeah, Paddy Cripps, absolute star. And that Fife, I brought him in, might have been two weeks ago now. And, uh, yeah, he's just going to be up there. If he can stay away from the injuries, he's going to be an awesome player. Um, Trelaw, McRae... Sloan and Crouch. I started with all four of these, and uh, they're actually they've been pretty good for me. Crouch probably a little. I mean, Crouch he did get injured, and he should be back this week. Um, but yeah, I mean they've all been pretty good. Sloan had a great week. Same with McRae, and um, Trelaw he consistently turns up, so it's always nice to have a player like that in your team, who's pretty consistent. Walsh and Stack, my two mids that I field, or my two rookie mids that I've been fielding. They've been scoring very well for me. Um, and speaking of trades, Walsh is actually the one that I'm looking to trade out this week. Um, we'll talk about that in a sec. 
Sydney Stack has also been scoring pretty well for me. I've, I've had to put him on the field, and he's been doing very well. Um, so, yeah, he's always in that 70 mark, sometimes even higher. I think, was it the last week or the week before? Did he turn up? Am I looking at the right player? I can't quite remember. I'm pretty sure... Uh, yeah, against the Bulldogs, he did turn up, so that was great. But, uh, yeah, the last three rookies in the mids, Atkins, Hayes, and Scott. Atkins, I think he did his hammy. So uh, that would be another one I'm looking to trade out, which we'll talk about in a second. Um, Hayes and Scott, or well, Hayes, he's been scoring okay. Should probably get to around, I mean, he might reach the 300k mark soon, I'm not quite sure. Um, but Scott, I think he turned up in his, in his debut, and I'm not quite sure if he's injured or he's just uh, he's, he was just dropped. But yeah, hopefully he'll be back soon. Um, but Grundy and Gorn, I mean, you know how good they are. I'm glad I started with them. They've just been, you know... They're basically as good as we thought they'd be, so uh, no problems there at all. Um, Danger, uh, he's been, you know, pretty well, pretty good. He's had um, a couple of niggles, um, but yeah, he should be, I mean, he almost turned up last week, but I'm sure he'll be up there scoring um, back to his, you know, back to his best very soon. He's, he's so cheap at the moment, and uh, speaking of cheap, Isaac Heaney, 467k at the moment. Um, there's a lot of people I've been talking to that are thinking about trading him out. I know I'm definitely going to hold him. Um, it could backfire. He could just consistently score 50s every week, which would be extremely annoying. But, um, yeah, I mean, he had this little ankle. He's had it from the start of the season, and I think he scored a couple of 130s in a row with the ankle, so it doesn't seem like it can affect him too, affect him too much. Um, I hope, hopefully Buddy's going to be back soon so he can get more mid-time. Um, Billings and Warple, both pretty similar players. Um, I actually didn't start with Warple. I think I had, I can't remember who it was, but I, he was a correctional trade, and um, he's been pretty good for me. And Billings, yeah, he's he's been like pretty close in the 90s every week, so uh, no no reason to trade him out at the moment. Drew and Baker, my two rookie forwards that have been fielding um, as of late. Drew, I'm probably looking to trade out next week for a, a, pre, a primo. Someone like a Tim Kelly, maybe, but I know he's got the third at the round 13 buy, which isn't too good. But um, yeah, that we'll have to we'll have to weigh up our options next week. Um, Baker, he's been awesome. What's his break even at right now? He's been scoring great. Yeah, 33. So he'll continue to rise. He's at 321 at the moment, so he could almost reach the 400k mark pretty soon. Um, and then Parker and Setterfield. I mean, they've been up and down, but they're still sort of making cash, so that's great. Um, but yeah, that's the team, guys. Sorry if you didn't really want to hear all that, but this is my first Supercoach video, so I thought I'd probably have to introduce the team. Uh, but speaking of trades, um, I am thinking, I mean, I'm not. I'm probably about 98% sure this week that I'm going to trade out Sam Walsh. Um, I know a lot of people are holding him till he's by, but... Um, yeah, he's just not going to make any more cash, and I mean, if I can, I mean, I'm thinking about bringing in Josh Kelly for him, and that's just going to be a, a big jump in points each week, you'd think, if um, Josh Kelly can stay away from those little niggly injuries that he's been suffering, um, he's going to score insane amounts, um, I think it was only last week, he scored a 150 plus score, he only had like 25 touches, and yeah, his efficiency is just awesome, he had about 80 80% efficiency plus um, so he's just a gun Josh Kelly and I think last time he played the, the Blues who he plays this week he scored a 205 so that's just too tasty you can't I mean I can't um, I can't not have him you know if he's going to score things like that he, he might flop he might score a bloody 60 or so so let's hope that doesn't happen but you know what we'll do it now Sam Mulch he's been pretty good to me but Josh Kelly just looks too good if it loads for me, there we go. Um, I was also considering Zach Merritt, but um, yeah, I'm just not not quite sure with the Bombers. Um, you know, they're, they're always up and down, and I think he usually scores pretty well. I mean, he did score a 129 in a loss last week, um, but it was a close loss. But yeah, I'm just not quite sure about the Bombers. And as we see, Josh Kelly going to the team there. Um, I'm probably looking to get either probably Merritt or Lockie Neal. Um, I didn't start with Lockie Neal, which was a little frustrating. He's been scoring pretty well. But uh, this last position here, Stack, 
he's probably going to come out for a um, probably a lock in nearly fucking afford him. That'd be great. Um, and if I can, the midfield's going to be looking awesome. Um, but the second trade this week, and I know you're probably thinking I'm a little low on trades. I'm at 20 at the moment. Um, with still a trade to go this round. So if I use that, I'll be down to 19. Um, and it's probably maybe on the little lower side. Um, I would have liked to be up around maybe the 22 mark after this week, 23. But uh, a lot of, a few correctional trades um, have forced me to um, use them up. But uh, the other trade I'm looking to make is probably um, Tom Atkins. Um, as you can see, he's got a break even of 53 as well. But I think he might have, yeah, I don't know if he's actually done his hammy. Um, but if he has, he'll be out for a number of weeks. Um, and I know he's not up to a, a high price at the moment. If he was up around the 300k mark, that'd be perfect. But... Um, I am looking to probably bring in Stocker this week from the Blues, which um, is not the best of options. But, um, you know, he's been, I think he's, he scored around, I think it was like the 20 and then like a, a high 50s against the Pies. Um, so not too bad, that second score. Um, but if someone like a Jackson Haightley is named, I'm going to be extremely happy because I know it'll definitely be Haightley over Stocker. And um, Haightley, if, if he's named, he's going to be so popular this week. He's almost going to be in every single team, I reckon. He's just, he's got such a, isn't he, he's, look, his break-even's like negative 90-something, which is insane. Um, and I think he's expected to go up around 80k in his, uh, after his third game. So, cannot, um, cannot forget about him. If it's, if he, as I've said, if he's named, he'll be straight in. But if he's not, it'll probably stocker for Atkins. So, uh, there's my trades for this week, guys. Um, in terms of captains this week, I've actually got Bynes who plays on the Friday night, so unless there's someone else like a Bailey Scott I can use as the loophole, um, I'll have to just straight um, Captain Grundy and not um, be able to use the, the VC loophole, but I'm okay with that anyway. Grundy's up against a, a pretty um, inexperienced Ruckman, and I think it's Marshall for the Saints, so he should score pretty well, but um, yeah. That's it for this one, guys. My first Supercoach video. If you enjoyed it, let me know so I can uh, do or make it a weekly thing. Um, I can either do this, just the one video a week, or I can split it up in two where I talk about the round uh, that's just gone and then another video where I talk about um, the round to come. So really enjoying my first season of Supercoach. Um, I should have I started many years ago, but uh, yeah, it's been awesome. So if you enjoyed this one, make sure to give it a like and also subscribe to future content and I'll catch you guys in the next one.